Sports on this Tuesday afternoon. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. D.A., take it away. Thank you very much. Guys, as always, the Heat have some scrappers on their team. Kyle Lowry says, nobody's like, I have to do this or it has to be this certain way. Jobs can be switched. Positions can be flipped. No matter what, just go out there and play hard. We figure it out. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, they're smart enough to do that, and it's all about the results as always. Thank you, D.A. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. And for Miami, at the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Kayla Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in at the three spot. You know, Hornets fans, Doris, are excited to see what LaMelo Ball can do for the franchise. Well, Kevin, there is no doubt this young man is a special talent. You look no farther than his passing ability, the flair, the vision, the fearlessness. Certainly an easy guy to play with. Now the question becomes, can you start to build the talented pieces around him? Hero kicks the butt. Outside, Mark. Kicks it out to Hero. The Hornets pull it in. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Hayward finds Rogier. Hayward looking around. The pass to Washington. No good there. Great D that time for Mark. To the paint. Here's Otavio. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And one of the more active two men in our league. Adebayo never stops working. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. First one falls for him. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. And he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. And out of bio, drops them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Hayward on the wing. And here is Rogier. 103 left to play in the first quarter. Ball no good. On offense, here are the Heat. Here's Hero. Owns it up for Adebayo. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Tyler Hero pitch one up. Yeah, you love how LaMelo uses the contact to get to the line. This guy's IQ on the offensive end is something else. So many electric players in this NBA, Doris. But do you think LaMelo Ball is as exciting as any? He is at the top of the list. But that list is long. Think about a Ja Morant. Think about an Anthony Edwards. The league is in good hands for decades to come. Shooting two. That's good from Ball. And winning has become more consistent in Miami than ever. Jimmy Butler was acquired, made it all the way to the finals in his first year, and have steadily won games each season. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Kevin Love's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Duncan Robinson comes in for Caleb Martin. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Hero. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Kyle Lowry. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Oubre with the steal. 
and we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Some solid defense from Butler. Out to the right wing. A baseline J, and that one drops. Well, just a great example of Jimmy Butler's oh, unselfishness. Jimmy Butler. On time and on target. Beautiful pass. And he lobs it up toward the rim, takes the alley -oop pass, and dunks it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. They get it back. Oladipo misses. It's all tied in Miami. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. The team. Four. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. The wing set for them, Hero and Butler. Adebayo is out there with Martin, and it's Lowry in at the one. So that's who Miami starts the second with. In the short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. Now, here's Lowry. Kelly Oubre unable to get his last shot to go. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Cloak loose. It's stolen by Martin. And it's the Heat on the break. And here we go. That's good from Lowry on the assist from Hero. He's got the lead up to four now for the Heat. Oh, great job moving the rock by Hero. Not a ball stopper. Tyler is a team player. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Now here's Williams. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. And Butler gets it to go. Well, quick decision off the catch. No hesitation. Rise and fire, Jimmy Butler. Outside, ball. To stop the run. Good. Wow, the agility to beat the contact. Such a clever move by LaMelo Ball. One second left. That one misses. So that'll be it for the first half. What a fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Heat. They're up by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They're playing for each other right now. Selfless basketball translating into a five-point lead now after trailing initially. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? They came out as the more physical team tonight. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. Ernie. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Charlotte. With how they're shooting, it's a miracle they're still in this game. And that's a wrap.
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. So Rozier will bring it up for Charlotte. It's a five-point game. Break last offseason, the Hornets decided to part ways with their coach of the past four years. Always a tough decision, and, and this is a critical time for Charlotte. They've got a tremendous young core. They think their time is now, and they want to make a bold move with the new hire. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. And it's Williams at the center, locking down the middle. That one doesn't go. And it's Miami the other way. Shots good by Hero. Hero's got the first basket of the second half here for the Heat. And how about Harrell's body control, capable of still scoring even when the defense ups the ante in terms of physicality. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. He feeds it to Martin. Outside Lowry. to Autobahn. That one goes. Count it. Well, Kyle Lowry loves the chance to catch the defense napping in the pick and roll. Pretty much no one better at getting it going. Ball against Lowry. And with that, the Heat lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Ball. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Rozier against Hero. Shot clock at six. Let's the three fly. Carries the long range jumper. Hero's got seven points. And a legitimate threat to connect from deep. Hero doesn't lack confidence trying his luck from there. The the and so quarter, it's Miami with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. They've got Robinson. Max Drews is out there with Vincent. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Autobio in at the five down low to the middle. Robinson against Oubre. Robinson misses. Hornets trail by 10. Oubre outside. Pass to Booknight. Washington trying to break free. Booknight, no good. They each hit well. 50% for the four. Passes it to Struz. Here's Vincent. Bob deciding where to go with it. 11 feet away. It's rebounded by Charlotte. 110 left to play in the final quarter. Oubre passes to Washington. Charlotte moving the ball around. Hook night. Love grabs the board. And it's the Heat with the ball. 10-point lead. This is their biggest. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Heat. They simply ran them off the court. They set the pace, and their transition game was executed flawlessly. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Tyler Hero. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. 
And you can just sense his determination, trying to do everything he can to keep this game within reach. Robinson finds Adebayo. Inside. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability.